Hey everybody! I'm just kind of chilling out this afternoon. Oh, what time is it? 3.40. My husband gets off work at 5. We are going out tonight, so I went ahead and got dressed so I didn't have to do it in a rush when he was on the way home. Figured I would just do some little chit-chatty vlogs. I have had somebody ask if I would do outfits of the day vlogs, and I never really thought about doing them because most of the time I don't really dress up. A lot of times I don't really leave the house much. Um, and when I do, I, I don't really get a lot of new clothes. Most of my clothes are, are seasons old. I've gotten to the point where um, I don't know if you can hear Ella playing. She's having a cat fit. But I've gotten to where my wardrobe is pretty much complete and I only usually buy you know one or two things per season um, I don't really buy a whole lot of clothes now so I don't really have things that you can find in stores most of my clothes are past seasons but I mean just to get you know style ideas sure I'll go ahead and do that this shirt I think there's some still left so I'll talk about this shirt once I show the outfit and you can still find these in some sizes so I'll definitely talk about that but let me go ahead and stand up move my chair and I'll show you guys what I'm wearing okay so this is the top as you can see it is very funky and ironically or not the brand is called funky stuff and I'll talk about the brand in a minute um, let me back up. It is technically called a tunic slash dress. Okay, I'm 5'10 on a woman probably 5'6, five, 5'5 five, five or below. Definitely would be a dress. On me, it's a tunic. So it's a thin cotton fabric, I think a cotton foil fabrics, fabrics because it's patchworked. And you can see it has a little, um, um, Tinkerbell kind of a hem with points and it's the same all the way around and I'm wearing just plain denim dark denim jeggings with it it's elbow length sleeves let me come closer it has the bust line is here like a, a waistline seam um, I'm pretty busty so you know, it doesn't really hang at the right spot. <laughs> Elbow length sleeves, kind of a, this particular one has kind of a high V neckline. Um, it's loose fitting. And I'm gonna let you see the print close up. Predominantly green, I love it. All right, this, I can't remember if this is a 4X or a 5X, I'll talk about their sizing in a minute. Normally, I try to buy at least a 5 or a 6X because of the sleeves, but you can see it's plenty roomy in the bust and the body. Their sizing is a little bit odd, and I'll talk about that too. But let me go ahead and sit down. Okay, I'm back. So, took my glasses off. Oh, my hair. I gotta do something with my hair. It is so humid today. My hair is not. <laughs> I keep looking out the window thinking it's supposed to rain today and it's hot. It's like close to 80 degrees or right around 80 degrees here and it's supposed to rain. It's just humid and muggy and just sticky and gross. <laughs> and it just, it's Halloween, man. It should be cool. It should be breezy and cool and no, instead we got muggy and hot and possibly rainy. So I haven't decided what shoes I'm going to wear with this today because I don't know if it's going to rain. I could wear sandals, but I'm probably going to wear just like some like brown flats like Mary Jane's or ballet flats or something. It's too, too hot to wear boots or ankle boots. And if it's gonna rain, I don't want to have sandals on. Um, jewelry haven't, probably won't wear any. I mean, I may put, may put some earrings in, may not. This neckline, this neckline, the shirt, the pattern is really busy. So I wouldn't know what I would wear with it. And the neckline is a little bit high. If it were a couple inches lower, I might wear a necklace. But 
I don't want something really up here because it's just hot and sticky tonight. So I'm just probably gonna be wearing this. Uh, <laughs> makeup. Oh, what did I just put on? This is like going to a neighborhood restaurant, going to a movie theater, going to, sh you know, out shopping, going to do just like local stuff. Um, nothing fancy. I've got on Bare Minerals, um, just the original powder mineral foundation. That's, that's what I wear for my everyday daily wear foundation because it doesn't it's just, it's kind of foolproof and it doesn't irritate my skin or anything. Um, I've got on my daily serum moisturizer. All I use on my skin is the Olay Micro Sculpting Serum. Olay Regenerist, maybe? Micro Sculpting Serum. It's in kind of a dark red pump bottle. And I use it in the morning and I use it at bedtime. Um, just wash my face, let my face dry, put it all over even around my eyelids, doesn't irritate my skin. That, that's all I use. I leave it on in the daytime, it soaks in. I don't use a primer unless it's really, really cold and my skin is kind of flaky and dry. I just put the minerals on. My eyes, I just have some kind of amber, just a slightly shimmery, um, it's the, the L'Oreal Infallible kind of like a weird cross between a powder and a cream and I just take some and rub it on my finger and rub it in and I've got eye primer on I've got like a bare minerals five in one cream eyeshadow thing I use as an eye primer and then I've got some I don't even know what brand it is it's so old it's like a dark brown it's like sable I think is the color powder eye pencil and then the lipstick Again, I don't remember. It's just a drugstore brand. It's kind of like, kind of like a, I don't know, kind of like a terracotta color. It goes with the, the eyes. And that's it for my makeup. For my nails, I've got this really neat color. Um, I just painted them. It's Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure. The color, it's a discontinued color. It's called Tupelo Honey. But I think it's really cool for fall because it's like a cross between... It's not tan, it's not orange, it's not like a mustard yellow, but it's kind of like a cross of all of those. It's just a really cool kind of a neutral fall warm. It kind of reminds me of, you know, fallen leaves colors. I think it kind of goes okay with the shirt, with the green, and there's some kind of, you know, mustardy and orange colors on here that pull from that. So that's, that's what I picked today. Um, let's see, my hair is just a mess, and that's okay. <laughs> I may put it back in a headband. I, when I washed it, I used a new styling product that was supposed to be conditioning and body-fying at once, and it's not a good, I can't remember, it was one of those little sample foil packs I had gotten but never used and decided to start using those things up. I think it was called like some five in one or something, but three in one. I don't I don't remember. It was a little gray packet. Um it, it's not a good choice for my hair texture. As you can see at the roots it made it clumpy and sticky and over conditioned and kind of lank. But yet on the ends it made it real easy easily tangled and fly away and kind of frizzy. Um, just not a good, not a good product for my hair. I'm going to pull my hair back a little bit with some clips. It's getting, getting up in my eyes and stuff and getting on my nerves. Okay, that, that's not an attractive particular look, but maybe I'll just go out like that. Who cares? It's Halloween. <sighs> no one's going to be looking at my hair. So yeah, the hair is kind of a kind of a mess tonight but it is humid and it's probably going to rain so before before the end of the evening I'm pretty sure it's going to end up in a ponytail or a bun or something because it's just going to be unmanageable um fragrance of the day scent of the day SOTD is the one I did the review on the Sarah Jessica Parker the SJP stash 
it's a little bit heavy and woodsy and spicy for the temperature and the humidity today but it's Halloween I wanted to wear something kind of spicy and seasonal you know I didn't want to I didn't want to be wearing one of my like bright citrusy summer fragrances on Halloween that's just not that's just not right so <laughs> I'm I just applied it with a light hand so this is the the OOTD and we'll talk about the OOTD the first the jeans because there's not much to say about them they are pull-on jeggings with like the kind of knit band on the elastic waist they came from Romans or Full Beauty One Stop Plus whatever you know I can't remember which exact site I ordered it from I've got this pair which is the dark blue denim then I've got a lighter wash like a medium wash denim same jeans um, they're thin they taper my legs properly I'm apple shaped so I'm like shaped like an egg on toothpicks um, my legs are disproportionately narrow compared to my torso and I like I don't I like to wear skinny fit and jegging type jeans because they, I don't have a ton of extra fabric flapping around my ankles you know unless I'm wearing like bell bottoms I don't want all this extra fabric flapping around my ankles and it seems like oh if you're like a 4x like a 28 you know like a 26 28 or 30 32 you know the thighs are like this big and the ankles are like this big and that that never works out with jeans but when skinny jeans and jeggings became a thing they started fitting my body better so that's pretty much all I wear now and I usually prefer the pull-ons the only reason for that is um, I had abdominal surgery many years ago but the scar is still tender it never got not tender <laughs> and sometimes the seam line on jeans with a fly rubs and irritates me so I don't I don't always wear them sometimes I do sometimes I don't it just depends on the jeans um, that's a little bit <laughs> more information but I found you know even with um, clothes sometimes if you if your skin is just too sensitive for certain kinds of clothes um, and that's part of it so the shirt after a ramble um, the shirt the brand is called Funky Stuff and they are a little independent cottage industry clothing brand. I don't know exactly where all they sell to be quite honest. I always buy from eBay when I buy their clothes. They go up to super plus sizes. They go up to a 7X. I, can't, I don't have the size, the little size tag is not on this shirt anymore so I don't remember what size I ordered. Um, but I own shirts from them in a 5, 6, and 7X. <laughs> uh, I, I think this is a 5. Yeah, because it's, it's pretty big. Here's the thing. If they made the arm, the sleeves bigger, which, which isn't their fault. It's, it's my fault because it's my body is the one that is, is what's out of the, the size norm. But in order to get to fit my upper arms I have to get like a, at least a size or two too big in the bust so I mean the, there's probably 14 inches of extra fabric here so I could wear I could wear a 3 or 4x in their tops but I have to get you know the 5, 6 and 7s and this one is even borderline uncomfortable tight for me so, but it's normally not an issue because they use really nice thin drapey fabric. So even though there's all this fabric up here, it doesn't just stick out and look like I'm wearing a tent. It drapes on the body. Um, their sizing is a little bit inconsistent. The garments are all individually hand cut and handmade. When they list a listing on eBay, you, you're not buying this style and this color you're buying this particular exact garment so the garment pictured they're going to list 
the measurements of it. That's the measurements of this exact shirt. And so the, the pictures you see of which fabrics are patched where, that's what you're going to get. So it's not like, let's say, cotton voile, pointy hem shirt, green print. They may have a dozen of them listed and you're, you're bidding or you're buy it now for the individual items, not for a style. So they don't have like a stock where they just pull one and ship it to you. You're bidding on that individual garment, if that makes sense. <laughs> and um, they make different styles. They make some button-up tops. They make some kind of tiered skirts. They have some sundresses. They have other stuff. They just don't have much in the larger sizes. But um, you can look at definitely check out their auctions. Um, also, if you check out their auctions, they'll they'll run items at full price, and then they'll run sale auctions. Yeah, I, I always buy sale auctions. <laughs> the shirts can be upwards of some of them a hundred dollars and up for the shirts. So they'll run them on sale forty to fifty dollars, which to me that's when I jump on them. Um, I understand super plus size cottage industry that's actually you know the the eighty hundred dollars and up is actually a fair price considering you know they're not getting the they're they're not getting the um, price break that they would get from doing mass production but yeah I mean you know Times are tough all over, so look for look for sales. If you see something you absolutely can't live without, <laughs> know that that listing is for that one garment, and there won't be another one like it. They're all unique. So that's the that's the thing is if for whatever reason that particular orientation of fabrics and the patching it catches your eye you got to jump on it because you you know they only do limited runs like when they did this green print they might have had a dozen you know that's it that that's all there is there's not going to be more um i had this is the i have four this is the third one i got i have one that's same as this cotton foil elbow length sleeves has a little bit deeper of a neckline and again you know they're all individually made so the sleeves might be a little bit shorter or longer the neckline might be a little bit wider or, or you know lower or higher the other one I have that's very similar to this is pale colors um, more muted kind of washed out colors more vintagey looking it's a size bigger so it's a little bit more drapey and the sleeves are a tiny bit longer I think they're true elbow length sleeves um, then I have one that has long sleeves that are really thin rayon like crepe and it's all like tea dyed so it's it's flowery pastel and mid-range kind of like calico prints that have been tea dyed so it's got a really pretty vintagey look to it and it's got wrist length sleeves and then the fourth one the newest one I got and I just got it um, for winter thin corduroy fabrics and really rich deep muted jewel colors has some metallic detailing and it has long sleeves I got it for winter and I really wanted to wear it this week but it just hasn't we just haven't had any cool weather which sucks but so yeah it's Halloween and I'm, I'm stuck wearing a, a thin cotton shirt um, and that is the the outfit purse <laughs> should have had my purse with me I don't I just have like a brown fake leather crossbody right now no nothing special I think I got it at Target four or five years ago um, so yeah, I'll, I'll do these outfit videos, but I'm not gonna, not gonna necessarily have, have all my stuff together, because I rarely have all my stuff together until I'm getting ready to walk out the door, but 
that is the outfit of the day portion of it. I'm going to go ahead and just do some little more chit-chatting with you guys, but I'm going to move my camera to do that.